hello and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is the first time you're coming across my channel my name is kate and this is kate vlogs please consider subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content i really appreciate all of you i also read all the comments yeah and um in today's video i'm going to just go straight to the point and make this video as short as possible so um i want to tell you where to buy stationaries if you want to start a bookshop or somewhere to just be selling stationary kind of stuff yeah so it is possible for you to get books in bulk in boxes when you visit um the factories here in nairobi uh, and the factories that i have in mind right now are uh, kasuku stationaries and what we call kartasi Kartasi. So they are located, all of them are located in industrial area. Uh, there is another that is called, I don't know if it is related to Kasuku, but there is Trigger Stationaries. Yeah, and they also sell their stationaries in bulk. So what are stationaries? When you talk about stationaries, we are talking about, we are talking about exercise books, we are talking about counter books, counter books, yeah. We are talking about graphs, we are talking about notebooks. We are talking about diaries. We are talking about anything that is paper, made up of paper. Anything made up of paper is available. May it be receipt books. All those things are available at this kind of stationery factories like Kasuku. I've mentioned Kasuku, I've mentioned Kartasi and Trigger Stationers. Now, they mostly deal with books. If you want other types of stationaries, like we have pencils, we have Obama pens, we have what we call Speedo, all kinds of biros, you know them, we, know, we have varieties of pencils, we have HBs, we have rubbers for rubbing, erasers. We also have like uh, sharpeners, we have uh, geometrical sets, we have rulers, we have those manila papers, everything that you find in a bookshop when it comes to like covers, clear covers, there are textbooks. There is a joint that is in Nairobi's downtown uh, around Nyamakima, OTC and Kamkunji area where we have a distributor who is the cheapest, cheapest distributor in Nairobi. He actually supplies the books to most bookshops in the Republic of Kenya. So um, it's a shop that I know. It's an Asian shop, yeah, Muhindi. Let me talk in Kiswahili. Yeah, it's a Muhindi shop and he supplies books countrywide. If you want to start a business for stationaries, those are the two routes that I can advise you to take. Um, the first route is um, very, very affordable. By the way, I have the price list of the two factories they sent me the catalogs you know the catalogs with the prices per box per piece so i have all that um i'm not going to attach it here because the prices might change and this video is permanently here so i don't want to attach any kind of catalog uh, because of any changes in prices i don't want any conflicts between the factories and the consumers now these asian sellers that are located in downtown Nairobi, they also sell books, but the books they are selling, they are getting from the factories I have mentioned. So it's just that um, if you want to just get your stationaries from one stop shop, you will go to the Asian. The difference between Kasuku and Kartasi factories um, with the Asian, the difference is Kartasi does not have other things that the Asian has. He is importing other things from other places like China. That is where he has sharpeners, he has erasers. Yeah, and these things like Obama pens, the whole pack that has 50 pieces of biros, you can get it from as low as 190 shillings for 50 pieces. So it is that cheap. It is very, very affordable. Kids are opening school and form ones are reporting. Form fours will be getting to colleges. The nursery school kids will be going to class one. Junior secondary school will be starting soon. 
take advantage of the fact that this is the season to sell stationaries and you don't even necessarily need a shop. You can just take a gunia, literally or a box, and just spread it at the roadside at a time when people are going back home or a time where you think or when you think that people people's traffic is high at that particular time and put them on the ground literally that is what happens in Gikomba you will get those people uh, they have like spread gunias on the roadsides and they get a lot of profit it's like hawking yes but they go home with a lot a lot of profit um, if you have any questions, let me know on the comment section. I will really, really ap appreciate feedback. Let me know what kind of business idea you also want me to highlight in one of the videos um, in one of these days. And I'm going to be so glad to make sure that I bring you such informative videos also very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.